Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have missed you so much. I cannot wait to get back to the makeup, to get back to reviews, to doing my thing. I've thought about this for so long and I'm really excited that I'm even just sitting down and filming. However, as much as I wanted to dive right back in and do like a 10 under 10 and just review beauty products, which honestly I did flirt with that idea. I was like, we're gonna talk about nothing. We're just gonna go back to the makeup, but I feel after not hanging out for such a long time that many of you want answers about certain things that have been splattered over the internet. If you hear rain, I am in Seattle and it rains a lot here and this is gonna have to be part of the mood, I guess, because it's inescapable. It's really pouring down today. Uh, if you hear that, it's kind of, let's like, I don't know, make it part of the mood. So I'm gonna start first with reminding you of my very successful last video. It was amazing. That was a terrible time in my life. Obviously, I was so super stressed out, but I'm gonna stop it there. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't think you guys wanna hear about it, that whole event that's not even the volcano that erupted in my life. So that past event that seems to want to follow me everywhere I go, I don't wanna talk about, I will let you guys know just because there's so much speculation and so many rumors of who's friends with who and who's talking to who and what's going on and what happened behind the scenes. I will quickly share with you guys that I, when I pulled back, I stopped communication with everyone in the beauty community. I haven't talked to anyone in over a year. I like really took a break and I needed to for my peace of mind. Also, there's no litigation, no cease and desist, nothing either way in that uh, event, if you will. Legal things happened, just not in the, I don't wanna talk about it event. Right? Okay, we're gonna get there. There's like a bombshell coming. Something you see and hear online a lot when someone winds up on the uh, terrible forbidden island of scandal, scandal island. It's no vacation. I feel like everybody that makes videos steps in it at least once. Some of us step in it a lot more. Some on purpose, some on accident. It's like a whole circus that I am like, I hopped in my canoe. I'm like rowing away as fast as I can. I don't want any of that anymore. I left, I worked on myself. I am stronger now. There's a whole sequence of things that we'll get into, but I had initially hoped to come back to YouTube end of summer, early fall. I did not expect to take this kind of a break. Yes, I was in the middle of like so much public speculation and scandal and just bad things said about me, but even deeper, what you guys didn't know and why I was so just like shaken up in the video that I last posted, which I have since taken down because I don't want to start fresh with all of that following me everywhere. I'm really trying to move forward. But during that time, I was getting the most intense harassment. I'm talking death threats that were explicit in detail. People saying they were going to hunt me down. They knew where I was. I was getting emails. Some of the most disturbing of me being monitored in the privacy of my own home through technology, through my smart TV, being blackmailed if I didn't pay up, they were going to put that all over the internet. I was getting accounts made with my name and horrific graphic adult acts um, in the title, like the screen name from the most popular uh, adult site online. There were things that were happening that were so appalling. And when you feel violated of your privacy, like you're being spied on and you're blackmailed and then people are harassing you in this really graphic nature and you're getting a barrage of detailed death threats, let me tell you, you lose sleep. And it just felt like my world was coming to a halt. So that's what was going on in spring summer of last year. But I really felt that if I pulled back and just took a time out that I could regroup and stand strong and come back. So my initial hope was to come back sooner. And in this time, I wanna state, I have never left Halo. I have always stayed active as the CEO. Fast forward to me, being healed enough to think I'm gonna post again. I'm ready to come back. I love what I do on YouTube. I miss it. Like this had been a part of my day 
today life for what, 10 years? Like I've been posting a long time. And there was a time where I was posting five days a week. Like making videos is just part of who I am, part of what I do. So I really did start to miss it despite all of the stress. You know, I came to a point where I almost in a weird way accepted. I was like, well, if, and this sounds really sad, but I was like, if it's my time to die, it's my time to die. I can't live in fear. So I was kind of just getting in my mind ready to come back and do something that makes me happy. And then the unthinkable happened. And this is the part of the video where it feels like, oh my gosh, she left drama, Scandal Island, turned back around, somehow parachuted back on it. And I know a lot of people will be like, why are you bringing this up then if you are you don't wanna be dramatic? I am bringing this up because it was already online. This is already public information. And I do feel like I wanna share with you guys that I am still currently actively today going through litigation and it is, overwhelming, but I'm gonna keep fighting the good fight for the truth and for justice and something that just blindsided me. Like this was like, imagine you're like ready to get back to it. You're like, I'm back in, we're gonna just like let all drama go. And then all of the sudden I am involved in this crazy lawsuit and it is made very public. My business partner in Halo Beauty, Clark Swanson, back in October filed a lawsuit for $30 million. I just have to pause at that. Every time I say that number, I'm just shocked. The company was thriving, doing great, even though we were in and still are in a pandemic. So this was just really mind blowing to have happen and then it felt like more drama was just magnetized toward me and it was not a great environment for me to come back to. It was a very hostile environment. There was no way that I could just come back online and start reviewing makeup and promoting Halo Beauty while there is this big lawsuit thrown around the internet. There was just no way. I genuinely felt I needed to wait until the storm calmed to be able to come back and post again. I was recently informed that Clark Swanson had been feeding information, disparaging information to drama channels about myself, about my husband, my family, info about Halo Beauty, financials, pipeline of product launches, the kind of stuff that should never be shared under any circumstance. Finding this out really signaled to me that this, in my opinion, feels like sabotage and has made me want to really go the distance and not stop the fight for justice in this particular situation. So I'd appreciate your prayers over it. I don't wanna continue the conversation much further. I'd like to just kind of breeze through this. I would like this to not be happening. I think it's so embarrassing. This is not fun for me. This is something I struggle with when I go to bed at night and I think of all of the things of my life. This is one that just looms over me and I'm like, how? How? And this was happening since spring of 2020. This information was being pushed out there on purpose since spring of 2020. That was such a bombshell for me. And kind of the moment when I decided I'm getting back to YouTube. I'm just gonna keep fighting this, but I'm gonna make the choice to come back and make content and still believe in this brand, promote this brand, be in this brand as the CEO while my business partner is suing me. So I hope that you guys can be supportive through this event. I don't want anything terrible said of anyone involved in this. I just wanted to share where I am at with what is going on. And I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I could lose everything and I kinda made the choice in my mind that if I do, I'll find a way to rebuild. And that's the attitude you have to have to be able to pick yourself up sometimes. Litigation is expensive. Let me just be raw and open. We sold our house in LA. I moved out of my condo. I have downsized my life in a major way to really be able to go all in and support what's happening with me through this litigation. My studio right here, this is it. This is it, studio tour, right? That's about as good as it gets. I miss my studio in LA so much. But I also have had a huge awakening this past year that material items are not the most important thing. My integrity is more important and I'll leave it at that. Why don't we just go all in and just like, let me pepper in some more. 
um, because this is just me being open about my life. And again, with all of these threats of like, I've been watching you and I'm going to expose you and I'm going to let the world know X, Y, Z. Sometimes you have to sit down and take your power back and just share what's going on with you so no one can hold it over your head. And I'm going to share with you guys that during this very, very stressful time in my life, James and I almost got divorced. We could not be around each other. He got his own place. We were separated during the holidays. Uh, it was a sad time. Like literally, I feel like my life is that of a Lifetime movie. Like it's kind of gone from Lifetime movie because there's just like so many crazy parts to maybe like a thriller. And then I'm really hopeful for like a Hallmark ending, like a happily ever after because we are back together. We've been together for 11 years. We had a crack in our marriage with everything going on, if you can only imagine. I mean, the stuff that was being said about James, about myself, about our character, what we deserve, what we don't deserve, just that intensity behind the scenes felt even more intense and was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking for me to see what I felt at the time was the end of my marriage. I did not think we were gonna work it out. I thought there was no hope. I was living on my own. I took my wedding ring off, which we will get to that. I'm sure a lot of you are already like, oh my gosh, she's not, she's not wearing her wedding ring. Where is it? Oh my gosh, what's happening? It was a tough and lonely holiday season. I, for real, thought I had lost everything. I remember being alone and thinking, this is it for me. Like something happened to avalanche my life into full ruin where I don't even have my husband right now and I'm feeling his heartbreak and it's terrible for the both of us and we've lost, you know, we don't have children together, but we had Halo and like that's being torn to bits in the public eye and just all of this chaos is happening and I just did not see a way out. P.S not pregnant. I know a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, what if she comes back and she's like, baby. Like maybe she like went away for a year and got pregnant and is like gonna come back and be like, I'm a mom. Um, I would love that. That was not my journey over the last year. Not what happened at all. However, I did learn so many beautiful lessons in what I call like my crushing season. It ended up being hands down hands down, the most supernatural year of my life. And I'll touch on that more at a later time, but there's just no way, there's no two ways about it that I would have made it through everything without God's grace. I had so many spiritual encounters and the power of prayer is a beautiful thing. And I've appreciated all of your prayers and those of you that have reached out, you've let me know that you're praying for me. Um, it's meant so much and Moving forward, you're gonna see a different version of me online because when you go through everything kind of being taken from you, the beautiful thing is you do see what really matters. And all of these things are fun, but when we pass away, because you know my belief is we're spiritual, we're spirits, we're not bodies, I'm a soul, I'm not a body. I can't take any of this junk with me. you know. So why am I getting so upset about everything falling off? Um, I had to go through that to kind of get to the soul stuff and to get to that place where I broke through spiritual barriers that I never thought I would ever break through. Like if you told me a year ago that I would be this woman today, I would say you're out of your mind. There's just no way. There were some crazy things that happened. Like I'm not even joking that I even have on film, like home video, like my surveillance, weird, supernatural, inexplainable things that I wanna share in the future, but just for the sake of time, let's keep it moving right now. So I guess let's get to the ring and the idea of like not being attached to material things. When I was moving out of the Bellevue condo, I had put a bag of jewelry together to take and then another one to donate. I think we can see where this story is going. So I hadn't been wearing my ring, it was with some other jewelry. And I believe, unless by a miracle I find it pop up, but I've looked everywhere, that it got donated. So if you have my wedding ring, well, blessings. I don't know what more to say. I just had to let that go because it was just like that one last like punch to the gut of like, and wait, there's more. Now you don't have that wedding ring that was so gorgeous. 
but I have my husband back and that's better. We have our relationship, our marriage back. And that actually is a miracle. It's a miracle because I went through every emotion of being like, get away from me. I don't want you. He was like, I don't want you. Like we all, oh, we were not, we were not getting along. And now we're back and we found our love again. And it's really wonderful. Like it's, I, I'm grateful. So I'm back in a place where things are better. A lot of you guys are asking about Tati Beauty and I am gonna be addressing that, the brand, all of it in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. I don't have much more as far as scandalous updates. I mean, I don't like that I even had to make this video. If I'm just being honest about being honest, I am more comfortable not sharing this kind of stuff, but I'm really just wanting to lay it all out in effort of feeling more peace in my life because it is the worst feeling to fear someone sharing private things about you. It's best to kind of speak it yourself is where I'm at. So that is that. Speaking of others speaking your truth to all the channels out there, like this is tough. When you come back like this, you think, okay, what are the drama channels going to say? What are they going to speculate? And then you have to think about the body language channels, which is like a whole nother thing. So when you sit down, you're like, <sighs> looking like you just like you get in your head and I'm like, why am I even thinking about this while well, I'm thinking about this? But I'm like thinking about that. It's a crazy feeling having this kind of pressure and it kind of just like does this to your brain while you're filming. It's a lot. So I'm asking, I'm not asking for people to not talk. I know you're going to do what you're going to do. Have your opinion. I'm a tough chick. I'm going to really, I mean, clearly I'm like, what more could people say? I'm going to just keep charging forward. However, when it comes to things like psychics, mediums, tarot readers, I have closed that door in the spiritual realm and I am asking to not be used in any way, shape or form in videos involving divination. Please do not. This is an intense request from my heart. I am not meaning to shame you, but I am tapped out, done, goodbye, not for me. It feels really violating to have someone read your future without your permission and speak words of death over your life, over your livelihood, your marriage, what's around the corner. It only breeds negativity and anxiousness and it's something that I am not involved in anymore. I was heavily, but I have shut that down. And I, you know, I, again, I had a wild year. We are gonna talk about more of it, but I'm asking um, to those of you that really wanna whip out the tarot cards and see what's gonna happen with me next. I'm asking that you not, and I'll be praying that that door stays locked hard. There you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and hearing me out. I hope you're well. I hope your year has had some great thing happen despite the fact that we were all in this crazy thing together with COVID and I hope you're healthy and doing well. Please say your prayers over this video, over this battle I'm still in, that it can just be brought to peace for everyone involved and that there are brighter days ahead. So yeah, that's all I have to say today. I love you all. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.